palimpsest. A palimpsest can be defined by many ways, but a very intriguing way to look at it is the idea of erasure and rewriting over. The base idea of a palimpsest can be applied to the modern day world in which the gears and systems of how modern day governing works. The act of erasure and rewriting acts as a lens to which we can explore distrust in modern day governments and why they always lead to erasure and thus getting rewritten. An example to show how erasure of trust acts as a palimpsest is through the Rust Belt. For those who don't know already, the Rust Belt is a region in the United States where a large amount of manufacturing happens. This manufacturing is obviously pollutive due to the nature of the goods being produced there. And thus, the Obama administration applied measures to take eco-friendly approaches and policies so as to benefit the environment of the country. But what happened after they took these measures? The workers of the Rust Belt were obviously unemployed. Rust Belt companies were producing less and thus the workers were working less and thus companies reduced the amount of their workforce. This obviously decreased the welfare of the workers since they no longer had as much income as they did. This is a very serious consequence of what happens when a government makes a choice and this leads to erasure. So how does this show the erasure and rewriting or the palimpsests of distrust? Firstly, the erasure of trust. The erasure of trust in the Rust Belt example is shown by two ways. Although there are more factors, I've boiled this down to two ways to make it easy to understand. The first is the choice of the government. The government willingly made the choice to take into consideration the environment. The Obama administration made the choice to take into account the environment in their policies, thus employed environmentally friendly policies. The government did not have the intention to let the workers down and make them lose their jobs but rather it was an inadvertent cause of the decision. This not only made the people worse off, but also made them lose trust in the Obama administration as they felt that they valued the environment more than they did the workers' welfare in the Rust Belt. This meant that the, from the view of the workers uh, of the Rust Belt, they no longer had trust in the government, which creates a void. Another reason why the government, why the people lost trust in the government is the inability to handle the consequences of the situation. Yes, the Obama administration made the decision to consider the environment more, and yes, people were unemployed. But the government was unable to cope with the unemployment. They were unable to put people back into employment. This meant that the people, or from the people's eyes of view, they no longer trusted the government to ensure that their welfare was being protected. The people no longer had trust in the Obama administration. As I mentioned, this all creates a void, and this void has to be filled by something. The Rust Belt, the Rust Belt voters, they filled this void by using a political outsider. They filled it with Donald Trump. Donald Trump was a very perplexed, it was a very perplexed situation. He was neither a politician, he was a businessman. But the reason they used him to fill this void of distrust is because they promised, he promised them that he would fulfill their needs. He promised them that he would get their jobs back. And unbeknownst to the Rust Belt voters, although even if his other policies were not fit for them, they rallied behind him and voted for him and gave him his full, full support. This just shows how, the, how a palimpsest of distrust and the erasure of trust and the rewriting can have severe consequences for a country. This is obviously unfavorable as the erasure of trust does not benefit anyone in this situation. But this is seen in a global context, in the United States. How is this applicable to us in the local context? Well, firstly, a consequence of this is a loss in trust of the government can cause a domino effect, leaching into other benefits, not just political. The erosion of trust in public institutions results in a vacuum where people choose to override this erased slate with trust in other things. One example of how this happened was in Singapore during the COVID times. I'm sure you all know the government was giving out free vaccines to everyone, but over 20,000 people chose not to take these vaccines. And this was not because they had full evidence that vaccines were bad. No, it was because they did not trust in the medical institutions, as this trust has been wiped away by decisions the medical institutions have made. They choose to replace this erased slate by other, other conspiracy theories, so as to quote. Some of these conspiracy theories may sound absurd, but it's all just because of the loss of trust in medical systems. 
some of these conspiracy theories I've personally come across is saying vaccinations cause the disease, that vaccinations cause autism, and much more. These are obviously absurd and not true, and just goes to show how severe this erasure of trust and rewriting can have severe consequences for the government. So what are the implications for you? How do these affect you? Yes, it affects people in a local context, but how do these affect you? Well, coming back to the previous vaccination example, if people are not getting vaccinated just because they don't trust in the government, it affects you as it lowers the pool for, for people who are protected against these infectious diseases. It means you are more susceptible to the disease. What other implications you have? In politics, we learn that even with good intentions, progress can sometimes leave people behind. It's crucial to ensure nobody slips through the cracks as we move forward. This means actively seeking out those who might be overlooked and making sure they are included in our journey towards progress. This lesson applies to all student leaders in the audience also. It's important to maintain the trust of those working with you. If they lose faith in your leadership, it can have serious consequences. So just like in politics, student leaders must ensure that nobody gets left out or ignored. Everyone should be valued and included in this process. If not, even on a small local scale, such as a school or the student council, people getting left out can have severe consequences on everyone. So have you seen a palimpsest? To further emphasize the implications and effects of societal change mirroring palimpsests, I would request you to share anything that fits the above description. Just shout it out. Flat Earth Society. Ah, uh, Flat Earth Society. That's a very good example. I'm sure everyone has seen, came across Flat Earth posts on social media. I have personally come across thousands in the past year. I'm sure you have seen accounts such as Flat Earth Bulgaria, or other Flat Earth accounts which promote the idea that Flat Earth is true. And the reason for this, even though you may think this is absurd, and the reason for this is not because they have evidence that the Earth is flat or the moon landing didn't happen, but it is because that they have lost trust in institutions and space agencies that the information they're providing is true. And they went along and refilled this erased slate with conspiracy theories which you find all over the internet. I'm sure you've heard these conspiracy theories, such as the moon landing was fake, the earth is flat. These are simply not true, and they're all because of this palimpsest occurring. So, to end off, I would like to request you to take note of anything you have seen that fits the description of what I've talked about, and realize that a palimpsest of distrust is all across you. I wish you to take this idea in your, into your daily lives and ensure that you make sure this palimpsest of distrust doesn't happen to you. We must all make sure that the people working with us and alongside us are well included in our thought processes and decision making. Thank you.